All right, and then Fernando Boteta here today at Tenzing. We have a, an esteemed guest, Ernst Luzen from Luzen Brothers in the Mosa. How are you? I'm fine. It's great. Beautiful weather, by the way. <laughs> you bowed with us. <laughs> with, with the scarf, you would, you would think that we are in the winter. It's yeah, actually a beautiful you know, when April. Left, when I left, it was very cold in Germany. So I thought, oh, I better get a scarf. And so, you know, and you know, with us, we always think in Chicago it's cold too. But it was pretty warm yesterday, wasn't it? It was beautiful. Um, so Ernst, or some people call you Ernie. 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 Can you pronounce your last name correctly? Because I know I, I, I might butcher. Ernie Lozen. Lozen. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people, uh, you know, are very familiar with your wines, yeah. and uh, sometimes say, say the the doctor uh, Lozen, but Lozen is correct. Yeah. And and can you tell us a little bit for people who don't know uh, where you're from and where the winery is located? Well, the Dr. Lozen estate is an old family estate, you know, from our family. That's 200 years in our family. I'm sixth generation. Uh, it is located on the very most western part of Germany, just on the French Luxembourg border, on the Mosel River. So the region is called the Mosel, you know, the Mosel River, gave the name to the wine growing region, you know. And since 200 years, we grow only Riesling in this area. So it is basically the oldest and largest Riesling growing area in the world. Yeah. One of the most famous, too. And yeah, because of yeah. 200 years of tradition of Riesling growing, you know. And so that's exactly what we're doing, you know. In the Dr. Lozen estate, we do only Riesling since 200 years, you know. Uh, Ernst, where is the, what town is the, is the wine located? The, 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 winery the, located? the town is called Bernkastel. Yeah. Bernkastel is just right in the middle of the, of the, of the, of the whole area, you know. It is, that's the reason that this area is called the Middle Mosel, because we are just the center of the, of the Mosel, of the Middle Mosel, you know. Here we find the most famous vineyards of the area, you know, very famous vineyard sites like well, so How many different wines do you make and Rich kind Gass. of to make so it? We do own six Grand Cru vineyards, six Grand Cru first growth vineyards, you know. So in the six first growth vineyards, we do a uh, different style of wines, you know, the typical German Predikat style, Cabinet, Spätlese, Auslese, you know and one dry wine, so that means if you have six Grand Cru's by four to yeah. five wines, you easily come up to 30 different wines. So typical, what, you, you, what I, I tell you was you look for the, the vineyard that you are familiar with or that you enjoy and then the predicate level so that well, you can I also think, find them. I think nowadays, as we all do it with also with other regions, you know, you possibly look first to the producer. Because the producer, like with us, Dr. Lozen or Nicola Potel or whatever, you know, from Burgundy, they are often a guarantee for good quality. Because if you are not that familiar with all these different wine vineyard sites, you know, and the predicates, it's sometimes a little bit confusing, you know. But if you, I mean, but if you remember a good producer, the name of a good producer, you usually don't get too wrong, you know, if you buy a bottle of wine, you know, if it is the entry level or the highest level, you get mostly good quality. But if you want to go dive deeper into the whole subject, you know, yes. then it is quite interesting to buy these different vineyard sites, to compare them to each other, or buying the different predicates, Cabinet, Spätleser, and Ausleser, to compare them to each other, to see the differences, you know. But that is basically already a ne the next level, you know, if you are really interested in it, you know, it's a beautiful, it's, I think wine is a great hobby, huh? It's the best hobby. That, that is great advice from the great uh, Ernst Lucen on, on uh, drinking Riesling. Um, any yeah, takeaway? It's great. Great to be here, great to take part here in the show, great to be represented from you guys, you know. Uh, we are very proud. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today and hope you enjoy the tasting. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Thanks, man.